To the right of the position length column is the fade in, fade out editor. You can adjust the object fade by dragging the left and right object handles. If I move the handles by any amount, the tooltip will update to show the current value. When the handle is released, the value appears in the corresponding text box above the fade preview window. You can also type in your own values as well. Incidentally, if you find that the tooltip isn't showing, press Y and click the General tab. Under Program Settings, there is a tick box called Show Project Tooltips. Make sure that is enabled. You can also activate Extended Tooltips below that. Left click on the drop down menu if you want to change the fade display format. Since moving the fade handles, you can see that the waveform has been scaled to reflect the fade setting. Waveform scaling can be deactivated by pressing Shift plus Tab to open the view options, then untick Scale with Fades Curves. Deactivating this means that although the fade curve is still active, it won't affect the waveform size. I personally prefer to keep that setting turned on. The default fade curve is linear, but this can be changed by left clicking the fade menu buttons. The left menu deals with fades for the object's left edge. The right menu, the object's right edge. You can choose preset fades from these menus. Linear is the currently active preset. Below that we have Exponential, Logarithmic, Cosine, and Sine presets. The faders are for making fine adjustments to these preset curve shapes. You can also use the Curve Text input box to type in values. Alternatively, use the keyboard's up and down arrows or click and drag to make adjustments. Double clicking on the fader resets the fade to linear. Double clicking again returns the fader to the previous setting. Clicking Reset removes the fade. Simply drag the fade handles to restore the fade.